The Bank of Korea has raised its economic growth outlook for this year to 2.8%, up from the previous 2.6%, citing a steady uh, growth this year. The top central banker said robust exports are helping drive up local economic sentiment. And uh, we'll bring you the latest on that in our later newscast as well. But on the monetary front, there were no surprises in store, really, with the central bank holding the rate unchanged at a record low, 1.25%. Our O. Si Young tells us more. The South Korean economy has been on a solid recovery footing since the turn of the year. But the central bank has decided to maintain its wait-and-see approach before attempting to wean the nation off the record low interest rate. At its monetary policy meeting Thursday, the Bank of Korea held its benchmark rate for July at a record low one and a quarter percent for the 13th month in a row. South Korea's economic growth in the first quarter surpassed most projections, thanks to surging exports. The spurt gave rise to speculation on when the central bank would start to tighten its monetary policy. But analysts say BOK policymakers are treading carefully, as a sudden rate hike could set off a chain reaction that would be especially concerning as the country's household debt stands at over 1.1 trillion US dollars. Raising the burden of mortgage repayments on households could destabilize an economy that's still struggling with low consumption, relatively high unemployment, and income polarization. But most experts agree that an eventual hike is inevitable due to external pressures. The U.S. Federal Reserve last month raised rates by a quarter of a percentage point, further pressuring the Bank of Korea to follow suit to keep the country attractive for foreign investment and to prevent a possible capital outflow. The Fed has also indicated that it plans to keep gradually raising rates. Just last month, Bank of Korea Governor Lee Joo hinted that a hike could happen once the economy is deemed to be showing clear signs of improvement. Oh Seung, Arirang News.